anyway, I'm going to read you a short poem and then a little story. I have turned a corner of a circle. Hurricanes of thoughts no longer rule. I will not fail. Fail me. Feelings dependent on others, done. Silence rolled in like Juno's snow, covering crisp sharpness, blankets pain. My cries shuffle the cards. Forgiveness become desire of the heart. The world is calling me. What needs to move now? Sugar fixes. Sleep won't come. Another corner to be turned. Self-pity is a wonderful thing. <laughs> I traveled across country, spoke to people stuck in airports for days on end. The snow and ice and cold almost froze our souls. Drove a new car in a strange town. I cried for doing this so challenging for this old dame alone and talked to God. No, yelled at God. I have asked you so many times to help me. Have I not suffered enough? What is your problem? Do you only help the holy? Virtuous, not my kind, the sketchy, the squirky, the quirky. Have I not had enough heartbreak, abandonment, hunger, or loss? What is your deal? Not learned the lessons or some shit like that? Never mind the bigger plan. I need to pay the rent and help taxes, not to mention a warm body in my bed and someone to tell me that everything will be all right. I see the lake. The light in me supports me. God speaks. Here you go. See? Waiting outside the restaurant, I see Longhorn Steakhouse on the sign, and Jesus loves you. My friend invited me, and for a moment I think I'm zapped to Texas, where I lived way too long, where Longhorns and Jesus are the proud meat source of the land. <laughs> where cow pictures run a close second with the Jesus man. I go inside. Again, zap! Cowboy ribs sticking out from all the tables. Where am I? Why would Floridians want to mimic Texas? But you ask yourself, why would anyone want to mimic anything? Substandard ribs and service? I know ribs. The kind of service you get in Chinatown, no eye contact, slam the dishes on your table and the bill. I'm too flabbergasted to answer the question, was everything all right? He never waited for the answer anyways. <laughs> Love is in the air. Is it the weather? The lake? I'm grateful all the same, out of snow and ice and regular cold, turtlenecks and sun. I wake up in the night back in Texas or New York. Remembering New Year's Eve when you told me you were going out of state with another woman celebrating New Year's Eve. I yelled, you're a psychopath with your cock hanging out of your pants all the time. Too many women, too desperate for that. You do not have a clue. We need to escape your intense fear and depression by fucking so testosterone can rise, depression low, and fear on the run without you. You don't know how to make love, and you don't know how to fuck. Sloppy, careless, <laughs> coward I yell. Bravery requires solitude facing, facing fear. You most likely never will. Tsunamis of memory keep coming now, how to stop or swim through, undamaged. I ask around. No comment. Nobody knows how to tame pain. Anger, memories of married life, intimacies come at me with a vengeance all the while. Being so hungry, I can barely breathe. You told me about a reality I had not seen before and almost believed it until that too got worn with many dirt spots on the crystal glass. So I lost myself into darkness, even though they say it supports light. But those of us who live in darkness a lot will argue that point. Suddenly I taste chocolate. I smell flowers. I smell the coffee. This is not just any day. Paradise is in the room. My friends are here. And it is my birthday. Oh. 